In addition to the front-mounted reversible plow, many trucks are also outfitted with a wing plow. Wing plows are mounted on either side of a truck and are used to extend the plowed surface of a single truck. Most often, wings are used to clear shoulders after the roadway, intersections, and bridges are cleared. Wings are also useful in minimizing spill-off from the main plow and pushing snow further off the roadway surface. Winging also helps clear room and create additional space to put snow for future storms. Two common types of wings are used throughout the state. Heavy-duty wings, which are often mounted near the front axle of heavy-duty trucks, and light-duty wings, which are mounted in the front of the rear axle of heavy-duty and medium-duty trucks. Winging is best accomplished through the use of a heavy-duty truck equipped with a heavy-duty wing. Light-duty wings become less effective when plowing heavier wet snow. Before winging, you should perform an inspection of all equipment. Inspect all cables, chains, and hydraulic hoses on the wing for frays or brakes. Ensure the trip arms are functional. Shear bolts are intact. And any lights on the wing are operating as expected. Check the wing blade and bolts for wear. Lastly, test the full range of motion of the wing by moving it in all directions. If there are no problems, you are ready to wing. Before heading out to begin winging, load up with plenty of material or ballast. This helps ensure the truck is balanced and that the wing can operate efficiently. Similar winging techniques apply whether you are clearing shoulders on a two-lane or multiple-lane highways. It is important to reduce your speed to a maximum of 25 miles per hour when winging. Going too fast could damage your equipment or objects around you. Caution must be taken at all times. As with plowing, you must be on constant watch for obstructions. An obstacle as simple as a manhole cover can cause considerable damage, possibly tearing the wing off your truck. The better you know your route, the less chance there is of damage to your equipment when winging. This includes knowing locations of guardrails, curbs, islands, mailboxes, and other obstacles in your route. When using a wing plow, the push arms of the wing must be level with the moldboard at all times. Never downwing like this. Downwinging is not only hard on equipment, but also creates a larger bank of snow along the roadway, which can lead to drifting and greater amounts of snow to remove when the next storm hits. Always operate with the wing in a level position. In keeping the wing level, you may be leaving some snow on the shoulder. That is okay. If the shoulder is made of gravel, never plow if you can see the material. This will throw rock from the shoulder and may cause damage. Make sure you raise the wing a few inches to keep it from scraping the shoulder. When snow drifts are extremely deep, it may be necessary to start your winging operation by cutting the top off the drift and then continue to cut down the drift with each pass that you make. This is called benching. As you move the snow back off the shoulder to create a storage area for the next snowfall, you create a bench. Be extremely careful when benching or winging back large drifts. You never know what may be under large drifts near the roadway. The higher the wing is raised, the greater potential for damage because of the tremendous leverage created between the end of the wing and the truck mounting. Always ease slowly into a snow pile or drift. Never hit at full speed. Most wings have safety trips to keep the wing from getting damaged when it comes in contact with a solid object. Heavy-duty wings utilize a spring trip, while medium-duty wings use a shear bolt. If the medium-duty wing trip is activated, you will need to replace the shear bolt. If the wing should trip, it can be reset by raising the heel cable. However, the safety trip will not help if you forget to raise your wing for a bridge. This is a simulation. Don't let it happen to you. Never operate with a wing extended into another travel lane, such as a passing lane or turning lane, unless a second plow is covering your wing. In many situations, drivers have attempted to pass a plow with a wing extended into the passing lane. You can imagine the result. To clear the passing lane, just make another pass with your plow. Again, be aware and cautious of your surroundings at all times when winging. Always assume that drivers do not see you or your wing. This will ensure the safety of everyone.